So let's continue with our tutorials. I left you getting started and you just built a you just established your basic website. Now we're ready to create some more pages so that we can add some add all of our pages and then add our content. So you'll recall that I mentioned up at the top of the Weebly tabs there's a tab called pages. And I want to make a new page that I'm going to use first I'm going to create my reflective journal page. Now your reflective journal is a blog type page, meaning that you're going to be posting your thoughts in chronological order just like you would if you had a blog or a blog spot blog. Um, so in this instance you can see I've got a couple of choices when I make a new page. I can make a standard or I can make a blog page. In this instance we'll make a blog page. And over on the right hand side it says what I want to call this page. I'm asking that you call your page Reflective Journal. You can change that name if you want, but it should maintain the blog style of page. Notice our next thing, show in navigation. We want to say yes to that because we want those pages to be visible. And now I'll go down and click save. And you can see I now have two links, reflective journal and home. Let's make another page. The next page that I'm going to create will be a standard page. So I'll use the new page option. And on this one, I'm going to make my projects page. So that's what I'll call this and I'll save that as well. Okay, Our last page, again same way, clicking on the Pages tab and now using New Page as an option, I'm going to call this About Me and I'll save that. So all three of those pages have been created and I can go through and reorder those if I want. Again, I'll click on the Pages tab and you can see if I want to reorder those I can simply drag to reorder those. Um, the truth is, it pro you probably don't need this page called Home, so I'm going to actually get rid of it by clicking on Home. You can see it's information here, and I'll click Delete Page, and it'll ask me if I'm sure I want to do that, and I'll say yes. There's really no reason to have a home page. Um, you can have all the information you want on these three pages right here. So um, you, you can feel comfortable going ahead and deleting that. If you want your biography page to be the first page that I read, that's fine. Just simply click on it and drag it to the top. I would suggest having your reflective journal at the top because it'll be the page that changes most often followed by the projects page and then the about me page. And You can see I've gone through and done that. I'll click the save option here. And now my my pages are set up. Before I finish it working on this tutorial I'm going to click the publish button so that those changes actually are viewed are viewable on my website. So that's how you create new pages for your Weebly site.